Okay. So this is the image that I drew. That is the palette, the phoenix, fornix, the epilotus, the thyroid, the curcoid cur cartilage, the thyroid glands again, the hyoidone, the trachea, the primary bronchial, the apex, the base, the partial pleural lobe, it's right here on the outside, the superior lobe, the versical pleural, the inferior lobe, the diaphragm, which goes across the chest, the pleural cavity, which is right here, the alveoli, which are these little circular at the bottom of the primary bronchi, bro bro broccoli, where do you Okay. So inhalation, when you breathe in, air enters your lungs, your lungs through the trachea windpipe, oxygen in the air diffuses across the thin walls of the alveoli, the tiny air sacs into the bloodstream. The hemoglobin in the red blood cells binds into the oxygen forming oxyhemoglobin then transport the oxyhemoglobin travels through the blood system delivering oxygen to the body tissue cells use oxygen for cellular respiration a process that generates energy atp by breaking down the glucose during the cellular respiration oxygen combines with glucose to produce energy, water and carbon dioxide, cellular respiration inside the cells, oxygen participates cellular respiration, which occurs in the three stages, glycolysis, Krebs cycle, and the oxidative phosphorylation, the carbon dioxide production, uh, as cells respirate, the, they produce the CO2, as a by-production, the CO2 diffuses out of the cells into the bloodstream. The hemoglobin can also bind to the CO2, forming the carb carbonyl-globin. The oxalation oxygen diffuses. CO2-rich blood returns to the heart, and the heart pumps this blood to the lungs versus the pulmonary artery in the alveoli. See, where is the alveoli? The alveoli's are down here, just in case you guys were wondering. Uh, the CO2 diffuses into the blood, into the air. During the acceleration, you breathe out CO2, completing the cycle. So you intake O2, which is, uh, what is that, oxygen, or, yeah.